Welcome to this new Football Manager 2015 experiment featuring North Korea and South Korea. Now I've deliberated quite a few times as to whether I should do this because quite simply I'm slightly worried I might end up dead by the end of this Football Manager 2015 experiment because well I don't think I need to explain do I? Anyway this is a race for world domination between North Korea and South Korea, similar to my other experiments. If you haven't seen them already, watched them already, check out the San Marino one and the China versus India one and the Indonesia one. I'm really thrilled by the feedback from you guys. And North Korea was a popular choice for me to do. So I thought I'd do it and I thought I'd compare against another nation, obvious choice, South Korea. But obviously, it's rather controversial, especially with what's going on in the world at the moment. Um, but it was always going to be controversial with North Korea anyway. Anyhow, for my own safety, I sort of have to hope North Korea actually win this and uh, win the World Cup. Or it's not necessarily which team wins the World Cup. It's race for world domination for a reason. Because we've obviously struggled to get any of the other countries to, to win the World Cup. And with China and India, the two biggest populated countries in the world, they didn't win the World Cup. So it's always going to be, I think it's going to be a near impossibility for these sort of nations to win it. So it's more about world domination. Who can who can actually be the best out of these two countries? So in the comment section below, let me know who you think will be the best team. Obviously, uh, the, the obvious choice is uh, South Korea because they've got a stronger team. Historically, they've been better. They've got better players. They've got more money. They're a really rich country. And etc, etc. So the likelihood is they will be the best country. Now, for those of you who haven't watched any of my other experiments to do with these sort of countries, what I have done is I have improved the youth rating of both South Korea and North Korea to the maximum of 200. Other things I will alter as we go along, but the other key thing that I have done is I've improved the clubs as well, the clubs' youth facilities and that sort of thing. If, you, if, if we have a look here, training, youth facilities, junior coaching and youth recruitment, all at the maximum of 20. And um, it will enable them to produce really good youngsters and in, in, key, and in turn improve the countries and produce better players for those countries thus making them more likely to win games, thus making them more likely to climb up the world rankings and compete at World Cups. North Korea have some cracking team names. Um, this one in particular, Mang Yong Bong, is brilliant. I just, uh, that is fantastic. Uh, April 25 is pretty random, isn't it? But there's some great teams in there. Any what, what I'm going to do in this part one of this experiment, there'll probably be two or three parts depending on how it goes. In part one, well actually, that, that's if I survive to, to do a, a part two. So wish me luck, guys. Um, I think I'm going to have to put the shutters up around my house. Anyway, part one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to holiday to the year 2030 and we're going to see how South Korea and North Korea have done in those years, If they, how many World Cups they've got to, how successful they've been at World Cups. We shall see. Anyway, let's uh, holiday a few years and see what's happening. Right then, so... We've holidayed to after the first World Cup. It's the end of the 2018 World Cup, August 2018. You can see South Korea 55th in the world. Uh, they have been higher over recent years. I don't think they actually made it to the, the most recent World Cup. Let's just have a, a quick look. But no, the World Cup should be there, shouldn't it? Competitions-wise, World Cup. No, they didn't even qualify for the 2018 World Cup. So that is a poor start for them. We'll have a look at you know, a couple of players coming through the ranks, I guess. Um, let's just go to the top team in South Korea and look at their hot prospect, Cho Sung Ho. He's uh, their top prospect. And have a look at the sort of players coming through. 155 potential, not bad, but they need to be creating better players than that, especially when they haven't made it to the World Cup. Well, they usually make it to the World, World Cup, so that's a bit of a surprise. Let's have a quick look at South Korea and see how they get on. They're 99th in the world, so there is an improvement from the start, uh, they haven't made it to the World Cup. No, they haven't made it to the World Cup, unfortunately. As 
as you'd expect. If South Korea aren't making it to the World Cup, then North Korea aren't either. So this is their top player, So Kui Day. Two goals in 16 games for South Korea. He's a left back, and he looks really good. 186 potential. He's a, he's a star in the making. They've got, wow. And Chong TC, he's a real-life player. You may know him. A uh, real good goal scorer for North Korea in real life. Still a, a top option. And this guy as well at Men's City. So they're producing good players, actually. I don't think... I, I mean, they're probably more likely to get into the North Korean team, these youngsters, compared to South Korea, because South Korea already have a very good established squad. Anyway... I will holiday to the end of the next World Cup and see how both are getting on. Hopefully they've qualified for that one. Right, so it's 2022, end of the 2022 World Cup. And North Korea have blitzed it recently. They're up to 27th in the world. That's very impressive. Their top player at Porto is still playing. <laughs> he looks insane, ridiculously insane. They've actually got two players at Man City now. Pak Ung Soik is there. I'm surprised they're allowed out the country, actually. They've managed to transfer to... To Man City, he went for 18.25 million after moving to Zenit a few years ago. So well, he's, in fact, he's at Luda Goretz, then Zenit, then Man City. So he's been around a bit, this guy, and looks like a top player. So they've got some good fullbacks there. This, what about this guy, Hyung Hong Hu, 29 goals in 37 games. He looks like a decent striker actually. 143 current ability, had 199 potential, but he's he hasn't lived up to that. He's 23, so he's not going to reach that potential, unfortunately. Uh, Ang Tong Song, 19-year-old, um, two goals in 17 games for North Korea. Looks like a good player, 186 current, uh, potential ability as well. They've got some really good players, actually, in this team. Let's look at them and see the sort of... There's still a lot of players playing in North Korea. There's a lot of players that don't actually have a club. Biggest value are the two Man City players, as you would expect. They're the Sampdoria player. So there's a bit of a d contrast there. They've got a good centre back, a good right back. So let's have a look at their uh, how they did at the World Cup then. If they managed to get, they did get to the World Cup. They finished third in Group F. So unfortunately, they did miss out. Argentina won the World Cup. Let's see how South Korea did then. Let's just go down the group. South Korea actually won their group. So second round, they uh, managed to beat Colombia. Quarter final. They lost against England, so that's unlucky. They definitely improved 11th in the world over the recent years. They've they've been at 11th. 11th is the highest they've been. Their best player is at Barcelona, Lee Ji Sung. So both South Korea and North Korea producing lots of players. Race for world domination is definitely on because they're both producing good players. This guy, 190 current abilities, reached his potential at the age of 23. He is insane. He's a left wing back as well that's both North and South Korea producing some good fullbacks this guy is actually a real life player and he's the second best player apparently and Song Hyung Min is, is still on there Park Hood Su 22 year old plays for Dynamo Moscow looks like a, a very good player 190 potential We've certainly got some good players in this in this team which is great to see uh, let's look at that's lots of players worth Lots of money, playing at big teams. Interesting. So the Asian Nations Cup is the big competition, I guess, for both of these guys. That, that is actually winnable. And as you can see, South Korea did win the last one against Japan in the final. So North Korea haven't managed to finish in the top three yet. But there's still time. If you let me... If guys, if you're watching, Kim, if you're watching, if you want to see a part two, then don't kill me, please, because... Uh, you might actually have a chance of winning the Asian Nations Cup. Imagine if you beat South Korea in the final. You're going to be pleased with that. Anyway, um, what, what was I going to look at? I don't know. I think it's time to holiday another four years and look at the end of the 2026 World Cup. So, end of the 2026 World Cup. South Korea, 15th in the world. They've been as high as 5th in the last few years. They've still got brilliant players at huge clubs. Kim Hyung Woo at Chelsea. 39 goals in 62 games for him, insane. 195 current abilities, reached his potential. So there's players reaching their potential for South Korea, perhaps less so for North Korea, maybe that the teams in the North Korean division are, don't have as good. Um, actually, they all have good facilities because I've improved them, haven't I? So I don't know what's going on there, but look at the value of some of these players. Huge, huge money here. 
going on. They've got some cracking players and must be why they're obviously competing and doing well. So let's have a quick look at the World Cup. 2026 one, they actually didn't qualify from their group. England won the World Cup against Croatia. It usually happens, doesn't it? Another one I'm looking forward to doing, it might actually be the last one of these. There's no point doing endless ones, but the home nations and improving like Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland to the same level as England, because England win the World Cup generally on FM15 anyway. It'll be interesting to see if the others can can win it, if they've got similar sort of attributes. We'll see. I might do it, I might not, but if, if you guys th think that sounds like a good idea, then I'm happy to do that. So both South Korea and North Korea only managed to muster three points um, in in the World Cup this time round, but at least North Korea qualified again. Their top player, Hyung Hong Hu, is playing... <laughs> Playing for Liverpool, 50 goals in 73 games. He looks rather scared. Looks like a rabbit in the headlights, doesn't he? And he is he the one that had 199 potential then before? And uh, he's he reached 170 odd then. He's played for Celtic and Liverpool in recent years, and done quite well actually. Premier League. Let's have a look at the winners recently. There you go. Standard stuff as you'd expect. Um, but yeah, he, he's a good player. And so Quide is still in there. He's the Porto guy. Still on the list. So they've got some, some good players as well. One play, the, the liver puddling guy, worth £36 million. Pounds. Um, and they've got f five players worth over £20 million. So, But there's still a lot of players that don't play for teams. I don't know if they're prisoners or something. But they don't... They get caps for North Korea, but... This guy must have left Amrakang recently or something, because he he's apparently he doesn't. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. This one. He this is the guy that doesn't have a team. He left Pyongyang City, but he's still playing for North Korea. Interesting. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, ah, the East Asian Cup's another thing. So South Korea. Oh, North Korea. There you go. North Korea won it in 2021, second in 2024, losing against South Korea. Not going to be happy about that, although I'm pretty sure the, the TV channels would have been shown in North Korea win. And then South Korea winning the 2026 one against Japan, North Korea third, not so good there. Anyway, let's go one more World Cup and see if they both have been a bit more successful. Wow, so North Korea up to 14th in the world in 2030. They've they've done well. Anton Song is their, their top player. 44 goals in 97 games. Playing for Benfica. Looks like a, a top, top player. 186 current ability. The second top player is playing for Portland of all teams. Looks reasonable. Nothing, nothing amazing. Um, so maybe they're lacking a bit of strength in depth. Although they are 14th in the world. So that's really not bad at all. So recently, how have they done? Asian Nations Cup, they still haven't managed to win. South Korea have won the last three. Is there anything that they have actually won? Under 22 Asian Nations Cup, they're runners-up. Asian Challenge Cup, that was before even this game came out, so that doesn't count. So World Cup then, how have they done? 2030 World Cup, once again they finished third in their group. Three times in a row they finished third. Italy beat Cameroon in the final of the 2030 World Cup. Oh, South Korea won the third place playoff, beating Argentina. So they, that was a real chance for them to win the World Cup, especially as they lost against uh, Cameroon in the semi-final. So that was a real chance to get to a final, I would say. So obviously, no disrespect to Cameroon, but you'd have hoped that South Korea could beat them. Anyway, um, well done. To, well done to South Korea then. They've uh, successfully managed to get into a semi-final of the World Cup. Second in the world rankings. They haven't managed to be first quite yet. But that's very impressive. Now, I did actually improve the managers um, I, of both nations just to try and give them a bit of a boost. Added, I gave their current ability to 20 uh, just to improve them. And maybe that's had some sort of impact. South Korea finished third. Their top players playing for Men's City, Park Hyuk Su, 30 years old now. Been there for quite a while. And they've got a guy playing for Inter. Well, big teams, big clubs have these these players in their teams now. You can see the list there. 
So it's been quite successful actually. And if if you want a part two, if, if you want to see if South Korea or North Korea can dominate the world, get to first in the world rankings, maybe not win the World Cup. That's not exactly the aim of this one. It's just to see who can get the highest and be the best team out of North Korea and South Korea. Um, please hit that like button if you do want to see a part two. 250 likes, that's aim for that. And then I'll do a part two, I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's been interesting. I've I've enjoyed watching South Korea and North Korea grow. I do feel like I'm going to have to watch over my shoulder for the next few days, though. Um, just in case. I actually remember looking at my YouTube analytics once and I'd got a couple of views from North Korea even though YouTube is blocked in North Korea. I don't, I don't even know if they have access to the internet, the citizens. I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, that, that must have been views from inside the government because there's no other way that would have showed up, surely. I found that quite interesting. So it'd be interesting to see if any North Koreans watch this video. If you're South Korean, say hi or if... Uh, if you hold South Korea and North Korea dear to your heart, say hi in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in part two, maybe.